First tonight, the Iowa Democratic Party says it will now undergo a full independent review of this year's caucuses following Monday night's chaos and confusion. KCCI's Chris Goffner is live in the East Village where the party held a news conference this afternoon. Chris, we're hearing from the party for the first time since all of the results have been released. Yeah, we are Steve and Stacy. Party Chair Troy Price spoke here at the Northwestern Building just about an hour and a half ago. Of course, he did apologize once again for all of the issues with collecting and reporting results. He announced two new steps, though, giving campaigns until tomorrow at noon to submit any evidence of data inaccuracies. He also extended the deadline for campaigns to ask for a recanvas to Monday at noon. He held steady on not going along with the DNC's request for a recanvas, saying that the rules must be followed, and by those rules, only a campaign can request one. Price was asked why Iowa should remain first in the nation after all this. He says, look at what happened Monday night. Take away the issues with reporting. The thousands of people who showed up across this state, who had spent the last 13 months going through this uh, job interview process for these presidential candidates. Iowa Democrats uh, showed up on Monday night. They uh, had these meetings and they produced a result. Yes, it took longer than what we would have liked to have seen. Now, I asked Price whether the finalized results will be in for the uh, in before rather the New Hampshire primary come Tuesday. He says we'll have to see more when the party reconvenes come Monday. We'll have much more coming up on KCCI 8 News at 6. But for now, live in the East Village, Chris Doppner, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. Criticism of the Iowa caucuses continues to come in from across the country. KCCI investigative reporter Alex Schumann takes a look at how it is affecting the future of the caucuses. Yeah, Stacey and Steve, the new app failing, volunteers not being trained, Trump supporters clogging the hotline. We're hearing all kinds of issues and reasons for why the Iowa caucuses did not go smoothly. But a former chair of the Iowa Democratic Party thinks one group is getting left off the list. I think Iowa's getting thrown under the bus. Former Iowa Democratic Party Chairman Michael Kiernan thinks local Democrats are getting too much blame as complaints pile up about delays and inconsistencies in caucus results. I think the local party here is taking all the blame, and I think Tom Perez, the head of the DNC, needs to be held accountable and responsible. I think we need to sue the Democratic National Committee, sue Tom Perez, sue the tech company. He admits the local party made mistakes. As chair of the party, I apologize deeply. What Kiernan says is getting forgotten is that the DNC required Iowa Democrats throw out their telecaucus plan and make changes. They led us down this path. This was uh, unacceptable. All week long, things have been stacking up against the Iowa caucus. First, we learned of the coding issues that Iowa Democrats say led to problems with the reporting app. The state party later claimed Trump supporters clogged their hotline after sharing the number on the Internet, contributing to delays in reporting results. Even before all the results were in, DNC Chair Tom Perez tweeted Iowa Democrats should re-canvas. And the Associated Press announced they would be unable to declare a winner because there is evidence of incorrect numbers and data missing. All of this has made the calls to end the Iowa caucus louder on the national stage. People need to stand up on both, both sides of the aisle here, and we need to come together and fight for the Iowa caucuses. Kiernan thinks Perez should resign and have to take more responsibility for the process. You're talking about a billion dollar problem if we lose the Iowa caucuses. Without it, I think we become South Dakota. Now we asked current chair Troy Price about Kiernan's suggested lawsuit. He says, said he's going to let Kiernan speak for himself. Price said he is proud of the relationship between the state party and the DNC. Steve. All right, Alex, thank you. Iowa Democrats had been predicting a record turnout for Monday's caucuses, but that didn't happen. About 172,000 people did participate, roughly the same as four years ago. That now has some experts worried about what it means for the general election in November. KCCI senior reporter Todd Mago looks at the numbers and what they mean tonight at 6. While Democrats in Iowa battle over what went wrong at the caucuses, the presidential candidates have moved on to New Hampshire. Seven candidates will take the stage tonight for their final debate before the state's primary. The latest polls in New Hampshire show Senator Bernie Sanders in the lead, followed by Pete Buttigieg. Like the caucuses, Senator Elizabeth Warren is pulling third, Joe Biden fourth. Voters in New Hampshire say they want somebody who can take on President Trump. I'm pretty tired of what's been going on. I want less of that. Um, I want the country to be brought together. Tonight's debate is being hosted by ABC and our sister station in Manchester, WMUR. It begins at 7 o'clock tonight.